Today we're going to talk about body recomposition. As we age, we might feel more like we're suffering from body decomposition, with our bodies slowly starting to decompose right before our very eyes. They actually have a term for this called sarcopenic obesity, which is really just the reduction of muscle mass with an increase in body fat. When we are recompositioning our bodies, we are doing just the opposite, by increasing our lean body mass while reducing body fat essentially reversing sarcopenia. I've quoted lots of studies on this channel that have shown that we can get fit and build muscle at any age. But I'll put another meta-analysis at the bottom of the description that looked at a group of studies done on people between the ages of 50 and 67. This meta-analysis was on inexperienced lifters without the aid of any anabolic hormone treatments. Some of the workouts that they had these test subjects do were pretty poor programs, and despite this, they still managed to improve their lean body mass by 2.5 pounds in just over 20 weeks. Last time I did a video on body recomposition, I was 52. I'm 54 now, and still adding new muscle to my frame, while staying relatively lean. Now, if you're at a good body weight for your height, but find yourself in that skinny fat zone, then you are a perfect candidate for body recomposition. You won't even necessarily need to go into a calorie deficit to lose body fat, but you will need to stay in at least maintenance calories and improve the quality of your diet along with being consistent with a progressive weight training program. But more on this in a little bit. I want to talk to everyone with over a 40 inch waist. You too can build muscle and lose body fat at the same time, but for you, it's more important that you're in a calorie deficit, as your bodies will function much better on a hormonal level under a 40 inch waist, and hormones like growth hormone will continue to improve with each centimeter your waist goes down. We may not have the raging hormones we had when we were young, but we can optimize what we have by managing our weight along with a good diet and regular progressive exercise. The Heart Foundation states that men with a waist size of 37 inches or over are at an increased health risk. So I would recommend that you continue to focus on weight loss, staying in a bit of a calorie deficit at least until you're under the 37 inches. Now this doesn't mean they might not want to lose a bit more weight, but at least this gets you into a healthy zone to build muscle. Of course, you should be weight training the entire time you're losing weight, as you can still build muscle during this time, especially if you don't cut your calories too drastically. A pound a week is a good average. When it comes to fighting sarcopenia, what we eat is a big part of the picture, and the two things I find we tend to neglect the most is protein and veggies. For protein, I don't like the recommendations based on body weight, as a person with a high body fat percentage will require less protein than someone with less body fat. You can make the recommendation based on lean body mass, but again, short of getting a DEXA scan, most methods of estimating our body fat percentage can often be unreliable, and people are notoriously bad at guesstimating their own body fat levels, which is why I prefer to use percentage of calories consumed. If you're a hard training person, then you should be consuming 25 to 35% of your calories from protein. This does mean you need to take some time to learn what you're eating and how many calories you consume on a regular basis. The best way to do this is to log your food for a couple of months. You don't need to log forever, just long enough to understand how much you're eating calorie and macronutrient wise, meaning how much protein, fats, and carbs you're consuming. Vegetables are very filling, nutrient dense, and low calorie. We should be having them at every meal, filling up half of our plate. Along with this, if you want to fight off sarcopenia, we need to keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.